Is it recording? It is recording. I hope so. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to be reacting to the first acting job I ever booked out here in Los Angeles, which just so happens to be Steve Grand's music video for Back to California. But since last week I did reacting to my first video, I thought I would react to my first acting job. So I just want to say that I don't own this video. It's Steve Grant's property and his production company. So I'm not going to be like playing the music or anything. I'm just going to watch it and I'll give you a little, a little dish from behind the scenes. Steve Grant, if you're watching this, hey, what's up? All right, here we go. So it's starting off. So melancholic walking through the snow. I kind of see the resemblance between us though. So I think when he shot this, he was like 22 or 23, something like that. Um, and I was hired to play his younger version, probably because we both have thick ass eyebrows. I don't know, it works. But funny enough, I'm actually older than him, which is sad. Because <laughs> I got hired to play his 15 year old version while he was like 22, 23, which means that I was around the same age, but just like a month older. Oh, there I am. There's the first glimpse of me. I don't play the piano, funny enough. They were just like, pretend to play the piano. Why not? Here you go. And they're like, we're not going to cut to your fingers that much because we know that you don't actually play. So just act. Pretend you do. She was a lot of fun. Her name was Lauren, I think. Lauren or Laura. She was a sweetheart. I loved working with her. She was super funny. Most of these scenes are completely improvised. Like the thing with the chalk on the nose, her dancing around. They were just like, go for it, guys. Have fun. Do whatever you want. So we did. Look at me. That chin, though. Oh my god, do I still have that chin? I look like a baby. I look so young. And I was in my early 20s in this video. They found a great lookalike for his friend, too. That's his actual friend. So the video is about like him in high school uh, with his best friend and how they had troubles growing up and years later they reunite and she's married and they just start reminiscing about their past growing up, how they really wanted to move to California and it's all they would talk about when they were in high school. Um, look at this, listening, looking out the bus window. So sad, so tragic. She's comforting me here because I had life struggles, teenage struggles in high school. Funny enough, my best friend back in high school and college looks exactly like that girl and exactly like Steve Grant's best friend. So maybe we were living parallel lives and we didn't even know about it. You know how we got those laughs to be so natural on the bus? We pulled up dirty jokes and we were just being completely inappropriate and saying a bunch of penis and vagina jokes and sex jokes. It was great, I had a blast. It was a two day shoot, I think. Yeah, two days. It was the first day was like three or four hours. And then the second day was the entire day of shooting, like 14 hours. Steve Grant has actually gone on to like, become kind of like a gay icon. This, I love this shot. While we're at the mountains with the sunset. Wait for it, wait for it. There's like a really cute moment where it's like our hands and the sun behind it. I wonder how she's doing. Lauren, if you're watching this, let me know what you're up to. Like, how's your life? I wanna know. He's such a great singer. By the way, he is not a country singer. He is not the first openly gay country singer. He made that very clear. Someone just like listened to his music and wrote an article and said it was country just because it's like mainly like guitars and boy and vocals, but he's not a country singer. That mountain was at the Griffith Observatory by the Hollywood sign. And it was kind of like guerrilla shooting because we didn't, I don't know if we had a permit. I don't think we did. Also, that polo wasn't mine. I think it was actually his. 
I remember because it was so big. Like, he's a very like bulky, muscular guy, and I'm pretty thin. So his shirt was like, what? This video is kind of romantic, actually, kind of, kind of sad but romantic at the same time. Oh, here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Ready? Ready? And and it's going! It's going! It's going! Isn't that pretty? What a great way to end the video. That was honestly one of the most fun times I've ever had on set. Everybody was super cool. Uh, it was a tight crew, like super small. It was only me and Lauren pretty much as the talent in the video. And then Steve Grand was there too, helping direct and give us like backstory and stuff. It was a bunch of fun. Anyway, I'm gonna link the music video below so you guys can go and watch it. Um, give Steve Grand a view. Why not? After you give me a view. Because it's collaborative and we help each other out. So, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and then share it to all your friends because I would like to get more views on this video. Oh my god, I'm going back to talking like a robot. It's because I just watched my first reaction video. Thank you guys again, and come back next week for more videos and more fun. See ya.